We had our last baby 2012 and two years after there was uh, an abdominal com uh, complication an issue came up that needed uh, a medical attention and we went to see a professor of gynecologist and my wife was uh, uh, upon investigation she was diagnosed of ovarian cyst madam an ovarian cyst is dangerous we have to carry out the surgery the ovarian cyst was operated but when she was opened up uh, the professor called me and said, see, uh, there's a problem that uh, he needed to conduct a whole hysterectomy. Doctor, I don't understand. Total abdominal hysterectomy. Yes, sir. That is, the whole uterus is removed, the cervix is removed, removed. fallopian tubes are removed, ovaries are removed. removed. Yes. Everything that makes a woman reproductive, this is the only way we can save her. Because it was a systemic damage inside of her. And that needed to be carried out just to make her live. So the doctors removed the whole thing. Yes. To save her life. Yes. All right. So everything was removed. I obliged. And everything. When was this? That was 2014. Four years ago. Four years ago. Everything was removed just to enable her leave. And uh, it was difficult for me to tell her thereafter that uh, this was exactly what was on. But I summoned courage and told her. Oh, no. The doctor said your womb was removed. What? Ah, honey, but I want a child. I've always desired a baby girl. So you mean I won't give birth again? Tell me, tell me it's a lie. Honey, I'm so sorry. It's not going to be possible anymore. <laughs> but honey, I can assure you, we are going to adopt a child. We will adopt a child. We adopt a baby girl. I can oh assure God, you. Oh God, why? It is well. <laughs> it is well, honey. It is well. It is well. <laughs> honey, I love you. So we all agreed on that. But again, after we forgot completely about having a baby, uh, because that was medically, it, uh, the doctor told us it cannot work again, and we agreed. This year, on the 8th of January, when we started our 21 days fasting, and Daddy raised a song that captured my soul. Take me, Lord, to your secret place, Lord. Take me by your head to your holy place. Let me see your face and your glory, Lord. Let me do you more than I have do you more. I was deep yearning for something inside me, a change, a shift in life, uh, spiritually. And I sent him a test immediately that I needed to see him. I think it was an email that I needed to see him, that I had this conviction, I needed a shift in life. And he obliged me. So I came on the 17th. And when I was coming, I carried along my wife. Uh, we came and... Uh, Daddy prayed for us and uh, Paul emptied a total oil on us and he said something that anything not working in your life, he was pronouncing it upon my wife, anything not working in your life, from today it shall begin to work. That we should go and make exploit in the new area we're posted to. So we never took it anything but I thought it was just a normal prayer that he prayed for us. Uh, then February, uh, she started complaining of some issues that uh, is pregnancy related. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just, I've just been feeling feverish. I don't understand. My abdomen, my stomach, my stomach side. Again? Just, it's paining me. I'm just. What could this be now? I don't know. Just restless. God. 
This is two days now. But this, uh, this is a condition that she cannot take in again. A woman that is wombless. I was afraid. Uh, I thought it was other challenge. So I had to put a call to the father. No, she's not fine. She's not fine. I can't understand. And to some of her... You, put, you call the father? Yes. Okay. Call the father and some of the... And the elder sister to alert them that uh, there is... Uh, she's complaining of something now. Uh, and again, they just said, okay, let's watch. So it became an issue and it brought it to me. But two months again, the issue progresses. And it was becoming like a semblance of a baby in her womb. So I asked her to go for examination. And then when the investigation was conducted, I was there. We saw a baby running inside. A... Inside where? Inside where? I told the doctor the medical history. Six months with antenatal started and all of a sudden on, on the Wednesday on the 10th of last month the doctor now called me a, a surgeon that he needed a team of other surgeons to handle this uh, peculiar case. And uh, should I avail them the opportunity to go ahead? I said no, they should go ahead. That is not a, it shouldn't be a, a monetary challenge. So the, the, the summon order and they and they opened her up. They asked me to donate the blood. I said I have no blood to donate. That God will take care of her. That is said something that when you mind God's work, God minds your work. And after the uh, the church section, I called and they said, "Thank your 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 wife has delivered a bouncing baby boy." With a weight of 4.5, a weight of 4.5 kg, kg, one kg above the upper limit. The upper limit is 3.5. It wasn't a womb they saw. We saw a pouch that is film like in structure that housed the baby for nine months. We can't explain this. The, the nurses ran away, the nurses ran away, they ran out. When they saw, when she was opened, the, the only surgeon that remained that was begging them to stay was a redeemed doctor. That was a, I think the supervisory surgeon or so, was, he was speaking in tongue. He said, what is this? And entered. When they saw that the child was housed in a pouch, a container, a bag that God created, and, and it was not a womb, the nurses ran away. The junior doctors ran away. And who told you that the removal of your womb is the end of your life? Who told you that there is anything the devil removed from your life that cannot be replaced and restored and repaired by God? We serve a God who is doing miracles till today. Apart from being a pastor, I am a medical doctor. What has happened now is impossible, 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 impossible. Just lift your hands and worship him. Lift your hands and worship him. Thank you for watching our video. I'm sure it was a blessing. Do well to follow us on Instagram and all our social media platforms at The Windows. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family. You want to make a donation and you want to support our ministry. The account details are on the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you next time for another lovely video. Bye.